But let's move to 28, slide 28. Now we are actually going to run actual malware. Slide 28. How about let's kill victim VM. So if you didn't have the, uh, the state that I have, then please restore the machine and go to Aurorans and files and save. And I'm just going to uh, make the snapshot on the desktop. I will just name it as before and save it. You saved it the before before you actually executing the uh, malware. Okay. Once you save and once you see this file here, then go to malware class, then samples, and go to IM form and double click malware. It looks like a folder, but it is a malware. Actually, it's .exe file. The auto runs. I, I executed the IM worm and I went back to the auto runs and press F5 to have refresh, or you can select this button to refresh button. And then after that, go to files, a file, and compare. And you can select before and open. Then you should see these green lines, green lines, that is actually being different from before infecting malware and after. Good. So the question is, how does the malware persist? Observe, observe what files are created in which directories. Who can answer that one? Right? I will not make you read this screen. I will just go through it. Windows system, right? You see the lsets.exe actually created, but no, never mind. I will this one first because the question is which file is being created. Do you see uh, document settings or user uh, program startup directory? We actually looked at directory just before. So it generate created um, msconfig.exe file, right? And let's go see. It's there. See, document settings, all users. Start menu, startup. Okay. Programs. Startup menu. Do you see any, right? This is on one of the uh, malware functionality it has. It is actually, there's a case, maybe it deleted itself, but why would they delete it itself if you want, you want to persist using this directory? So we can also, maybe it's hidden, right? So we, we actually put some uh, labs, uh, either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we want to see how it's uh, hiding itself, this file, right? So, right, this path was right, we went there, Right, start up. Let, I will let you compare if I made any mistake here. Right, the path. And it says there is a mess config.exe, but explore is not showing you if there is a file. There is nothing here, right? But that's another way to let's see what's going on. Let's see then through the DOS prompt. Right? You don't see any here either, right? So, I will, uh, tomorrow, I will, yeah, the following we will have how this malware is actually hiding these files. And that's one thing, and let's see. So, but since these overruns, when I will scroll it down, well, okay, only the 
entry that is being deformed before uh, being infected or and after after is only these three lines. So the answer for this one is yes, it is generating the MS config that yes, it fires to one of these startup directory. And the next question is observe what registry keys are created or modified, right? So when you see here, it uh, actually modified or it is what's that mean it exists. So it is modified this uh, user init value to Windows system ss.exe, right? So when user logged in, then you want to execute this executable file. Okay, Windows system and ss.exe. Okay, one thing to mention, there actually ss.exe uh, actually one of the Windows system file is like a, did I mention it somewhere here? Probably, okay, it's like a local security local security authority subsystem service. It is actually existing file. But what um, this uh, IM1 is doing it is just using the same name so that it can be uh, not stealthy, still, you know, manipulating the users, right? But one thing that you want to uh, uh, see is user system, actually this directory is actually being used for the 16-bit uh, executables. This uh, user uh, Windows system directory is not used by this 32 bit, not used. Actually, system identifier is not coming from this directory. Right? And let's see what's there actually. See Windows system. Okay. So these are the 16, but let me see. View detail. Do you see access? Okay, you don't see access.exe either, right? So it means it may be hidden, right? So, but it's there, basically. Because Oberon identified it and it is not identified as a, like, you know, file not found either, right? So, and we're going to go to uh, uh, that lab, you know, how it, uh, the malware is hiding a file. All right, so we are at uh, slide 29. And any questions so far? Okay, before actually uh, end for today, um, okay, I want to also mention it a uh, page uh, page 30. So, so LSS. And MS config actually when I do the MD5, it's actually the same files. And probably Father Lab has you know a uh, front monitor, front monitor, and you will see you know actually the files being actually copied. And not only that, we can actually do some you know get the try to get the MD5 all these files. Okay. And All right, I think I mentioned all of them. Oh, one thing is not only the access MS config that you see also is the uh, Windows a system a system file that you know comes with the Windows, so it's uh, trying to it kind of uh, to be sneaky here. Yeah, that's all right. It's, the malware trying to be sneaky. All right, that's uh, what I mentioned is, uh, at uh, slide 30. So the MS config that you see is a system configuration executable. Okay. So we finished till slide 30, and we will come back and just start from the 31. Okay, this sounds fine. Okay, good. All right, then I will see you tomorrow.